You guys are the first ones drawn. I love that. That's good work, dude. Maybe the last one, last one should go first. All right, let me introduce you guys to the first ever Winter Croquet Tournament. This is where we start. There's the boys getting ready here. Let's walk this course. You know what I mean? Is it something I can do like a little... A little ramp there. No. Get a deal with. The first wick at. You must uh, be prepared for that. You can see the course has been pretty well laid out and prepared. The grounds crew is working day and night to make sure that it took place. This is where we actually end up. We'll come to that afterwards. We are now walking it, walking it. This would be ramp number two for the uh, the first annual winter croquet. The wicket is actually on the ramp, as you can see there. As we move forward, we continue to have just uh, an overall view of the grounds here. You can see there's the boys drinking and uh, getting ready. The pond there will be in play later on. The wicket that you must go through around the snow ball. Again, the grounds crew was working. We did have four inches of snow overnight. And you can see how this has worked out so far. You must go into this section here through the snow around the wicket, through the wicket. And then we have the, the mini moguls here. Not sure if the uh, the crowd can see this as well as we can, but there are, it has been laid out. Oh yeah, there we go. Be careful not to screw up the course before we finish. The third ramp we have to go up and over. Then somehow, another wicket right here, through the, the tunnel around the big pile of snow. Again, another, another view of the teams there. And this is a, a scramble, it's a two-man scramble we need to be aware of. So now we'll go through this section. This is the beach to the, the pond. And we have to go down and around through that wicket back up. You can see there's some snow on the sandy beach. Over around the rock through that wicket. Then you must hit the pole and then the final hole. Once you hit the pole then you go through the uh, the second round of moguls through the big snow embankment here as we finish up going into the volcano into the hole right there. Say hello. It was my idea, by the way. 2012, first year. And Matt's dad, Mark, not only did he help prep the course, yes. set it up, he also made the world's best pork loin that we just got done eating yes, and devouring. This is the first of many. This was incredible. So, <laughs> there's the team getting ready, and here we go.